All right, so the New York Giants officially hire Brian Dable, and um, I know you know it's, it's going to be 50-50 split um, as far as what Bills fans kind of feel about this. Um, there's going to be some fans that are going to feel absolutely devastated about this move. There's going to be some other uh, fans like my, you know, that are just going to be like, eh, I, you know, I can care less if Brian Dable leaves or not. Um, but I think that one thing that we all can agree with here is that Brian Dable played a very, 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 very big role, very pivotal role in the development of Josh Allen. Uh, we got to give Brian Dable that credit. Um, you know, Ken Dorsey, um, just our entire organization as a whole did a great job. Um, we also all knew that Brian Dable was going to leave. Him or Leslie Frazier was one of those two dudes, if not both of them were going to leave at some point. Um, those two guys are just way too good as assistant coaches not to, to, to get that opportunity as a chance to being a head coach. Um, now, for me personally, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of in the other crowd where, you know, if Dable leaves, I don't I think it's to the point now when it comes to Josh Allen um, that I just I don't think that we need that top, top, top of the line offensive coordinator anymore. I don't think that we need to, I don't think that is such a huge loss if Brian Dable does leave because, again, because of how Josh Allen has developed. I think Josh Allen has developed to the point where I think he could fit in any system. Um, that was kind of his comp coming out of college, that this is a dude that can play in any system. He just needs the proper development in order for him, in order for him to reach that level. And Brian Dable has helped Josh Allen reach that level. He's helped reach that status. And again, that's, you know, that's where, no matter how I feel about Brian Dable, right, whether if it's some of the questionable play calling he's had, lack of adjustments in different ha in different. When it comes to different hats, especially teams that have kind of figured out, and I mean, again, I can go on, I can go on, but I'm not going to do that. Um, if you guys, if you guys are, you are subscribed to my channel, if you guys have watched any of my Bills videos, you guys exact, you guys know exactly how I feel about Dave. Right, lack of running the football the last three years. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. I mean, I can go on, but anyway, um, no matter what I feel about Brian Dable, we have got to give him credit as Bills fans, whether if you love him or hate him. He played a huge part in the role of developing Josh Allen. He's played a huge role in really turning around our organization, turning around our franchise into a winning franchise. And that's, you know, again, I, I can, I, you got to think, you got to tip your cap off to what Brian Dable has done the last four to five years here. Um, local St. Francis product, uh, went to, I mean, sorry, local Buffalo product, uh, went to St. Francis right near Lakeshore. Uh, if any of you guys are from the New York area or from or, or around the Buffalo area, you guys like know exactly what I'm kind of talking about. Um, so, yeah, man, um, I think the Giants, they have a chance. You know, you know, again, they took our assistant general manager, um, which I think he's definitely going to succeed there. Um, you know, of course, there is David, Get there is David Gettleman that you kind of have to, you know, again, you can't you can't really be. Um, you got to be a little wary, of, especially with what Gettleman's doing with the Giants. But um, uh, I will say this. They are building structure. They are starting to kind of build the foundational pieces. And it starts off with leadership. It starts off with the top. And, you know, then you have to find that right coach. Obviously, Dable's one of the hottest coaching prospects in the National Football League. Um, he's been under Sean McDermott. He's been under Brandon Bean. He understands the process. And um, I think that can definitely be a good thing for the Giants. Now, obviously, you guys got to figure out now, you know, as far as your franchise quarterback and other additional, um, you know, assets uh, when it comes to building your team. Um, but it it definitely starts with finding that quarterback because Daniel Jones is not the answer. He is not that dude. Uh, maybe you'll have him for a year because the quarterback prospects are not that hot. Although, although I will say, you know, Josh Allen had red flags. Justin Herbert had major red flags as far as just what the, as far as what they did on the field. Um, and people did not like how kind of raw they were as prospects. And you can make an argument that those are two of the best quarterbacks out of their class. So the Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, Matt Corral slander that I've been hearing from a lot of these so these quote unquote pro NFL uh, scouting experts, maybe they'll be wrong about them. Um, but like I said, you gotta you have to evaluate the talent yourself and see what you have. And that's something that we're gonna see from Brian Dable, right? Can he evaluate the proper positions? Can him and his coaching staff that he's gonna put together? And again, I would not be surprised at all if they if he takes some of Buffalo's staff, right? Ken Dorsey is a very hot name. Um, it's a name that I would love to step up being the offensive coordinator, right? Kind of keeping that Dable system. But for the most part, uh, especially because, again, our, off, our a lot of our personnel, including Josh Allen, really knows the system well. Just that Ken Dorsey has to be really, has to be the one calling the plays. He is the one that has to be calling the shots. But if Ken Dorsey goes to the Giants, that's another great asset for them. 
And again, it's just about establishing that system and finding those valuable assets that you can that you can have uh, when it comes to building your team. And, you know, we'll see what they can kind of do from there. Um, but we all know that the, that the NFC East is literally for the taking. It is a crapshoot. It changes every single year. There really isn't a dominant force on a year on a year on a, on a, on a, on a year on basis. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what Brian Dable can do. Um, again, uh, no matter. And again, I, I, I've known Brian Dable since the Alabama days. Again, I'm a big Alabama fan, so trust me. You know, I've been dealing with Dable a lot longer than most Bills fans are kind of accustomed to. Uh, but for the most part. Um, no matter kind of what I feel about it, the Giants fans, you, you know, they will love this hire. The Giants organization selected him for a reason. Um, now, the Giants organization have selected a lot of head coaches over the years, and it really hasn't kind of worked out. Ever since, you know, Coughlin left, they have not worked out as, as um, at, at all as an organization. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the Giants can do. We'll see how, how it's going to look maybe two, three years down the road. Um, the first year, it's probably going to be rough. We'll see what happens two, three, four years on the road when more NFL draft, when, when, when more of these draft prospects starts to starts to develop, free agency starts to kind of kick in. We'll see what leadership will kind of look like. Um, we'll see. But for the most part, I will say this: um, no matter what, I, again, no matter what I feel about John Brian Dabo, he was there for the development. Um, played a huge role in the development of Josh Allen. Can't thank him enough for that and what he's done for this organization, what he's done for the team. And just good luck to him overall. So Giants fans, Bills fans, let me know how you guys kind of feel about this in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next reaction. But anyway, guys, Jan Sports, click it off. Peace.